What's going on guys, Geneva9. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. And again, if you saw that quick uh, commercial in the very beginning of this video, that's right, I've released my new merch. Uh, this is a key strap by Evolve, my, new, my personal own name brand. Uh, check out the link down below. Thank you guys for your continued support and for everyone who continues to support the channel and buy the merch. Uh, I, I will have the link down below on where to grab yourself one of these key straps. Um, very high quality. It is made embroidered actually. It's not a patch or anything. It's straight embroidered front and back. So once again guys, thank you for tuning in once again. Today's episode is pretty awesome. Um, as you can tell from the title, it is an upgrade to my COP coil on plug system. Again, thank you, John from JD Customs USA. Uh, I'll leave the link down below of where you can hit him up. But he was kind enough to hit me up with a new COP plate. That's right. So, if you saw the last videos, I did an install on how to install one of the coil on plug system by JD Customs. Again, he customizes these. He builds them uh, by hand. Uh, he does all the Denso coils. The, he does all the machining. Again, these are real carbon fiber pieces, guys. So what, what you would call this piece is the Show Series. So you would find that in a second why they call it the Show Series. So I'll show you. Actually, I'll show you right now why they call it the Show Series. Actually, before I go dig deep into this, uh, if you're new to the channel and you like the Evo content and any car builder whatsoever, consider subscribing and hit that subscribe button down below and hit that like button to support your boy. Uh, so anyways, um, let's look into it right here. Beautifully made. All this stuff is JD Customs. He made this uh, oil cap right there. All the dress up bolts on there. It's beautiful. And this is what we're going to be replacing right here, that carbon fiber plate. Now if you look right here, it is, there's an empty space right there. Right there. And yeah, and you can see that the Denso coils just sit on top of the plate. Now if we compare that to this plate, the new Show Series, again, these are all made straight up real carbon fiber. There's a new extended plate right there that pretty much covers that void. You see where it's nicely carved out where the, de where the Denso coil sits and also where the dress up bolts go. But that's actually pretty awesome that they uh, John did that cutout right there because the, now the Denso coils will sit and touch the spark plugs way better for a better fit. Let's go and take the old, um, the old plate off and I'll show you guys the difference right quick. Again guys, if you haven't noticed, I am filming at a new frame rate. It's a 60 FPS. Uh, before I was shooting at 24 FPS. Let me know what you guys think of this new frame rate. Uh, I think the 60 FPS is a lot more realistic. I don't know. Uh, if you guys like it or not, uh, just leave the link, the comment down below and let me know what you like, what you think of the, let me know what you think of the new frame rate. So again, like what I mentioned, John makes these really, really nice dress up, dress up bolts. They are made out of titanium. So if you like these kind of dress up bolts for your engine bay, he makes all sorts of varieties of them. 
and you can pretty much dress up the, all your bolts in your engine bay with this kit so go check out his website you'll need to take out all the connectors right here so I know that John also if you look right here on his website he has also the O2 sensor relocating kit so that it'll this wire right here all this stuff will actually locate right underneath back there so that this wire will not be seen right here so you'll have that clean flush look and that'll probably be in another a different video once I get it so just carefully take it off again I just had my valve cover re repainted um, it's actually a powder coat so I'm just trying to be careful not to scratch it up and there you go guys this is the old setup right here so as you can see there is no additional area on there still the same material and this is what I was talking about how the Denzel coils just sits on top of the plate without even actually installing it let's compare the two plates side by side the show series versus the original yeah let me zoom in a little bit here there we go again check this out guys on the new show series I'm, I don't know if you remember my last video but I showed you guys how to hide these wires and I used the Dremel and pretty much cut these moon shaped cutouts for the four Denso wires the show series they're actually already cut right there so you can just insert those wires through those whole holes and yeah so if you compare this to the length of the original you can see that there's new cutouts right there like there's a new cutout right there on the bottom right the four cutouts right there uh, there's the that's what I was talking to you guys about of the new extended plate right there now if we take this plate right here and just set it on top of the valve cover right there boom so it actually looks amazing guys because now you don't have that void like what we had before now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna disassemble this setup right here and pretty much it's a quick and easy plug and play guys all you gotta do is take out these bolts right here one, two, three, four. Uh, it should just pop out and pretty much, yeah, put it onto the new plate. They are held on with the, the four nuts on the bottom. Um, I would take these off first. So there you have it, guys. I've got all the Denzel coils, the nuts and the weather seal gaskets right here here is the old plate boom and here is the new plate compared to the old plate so this is the show series versus the old series so let's actually do the before so let's take the old piece and put it right here so you'll know how it sat before so here's the before As you can see, there is that void right there. Here's the new plate. No void. I didn't even bother to flip this over yet, but if you look right behind it, there are cutouts on the edge right here. Oh. So let's flip that. So the old version doesn't have these carved out places right there for the wires. Now these give clearance to the wire runner underneath so it doesn't get so the wire doesn't get pinched. The old ones don't have that. So yeah. So now that we got that off, you guys see the difference. Uh, again, uh, if you have the old version, this is completely fine. Um, this is just for if you're wanting to upgrade and make your valve cover look way way better and uh, have that 
void covered up with this beautiful authentic carbon fiber piece right here so yeah once again guys hit up the description down below i'll leave uh jd customs john's website down below check him out he's on instagram instagram is jd customs usa uh hit up him up he does amazing deals and you can talk to him and yeah he'll hook you up for sure and yeah i don't know uh i got this extra play right here i might consider doing a giveaway actually how about this actually on my instagram i'm almost at 65,000 k again thank you guys for all your support i would this channel my instagram would have been nothing without you guys so i thank you guys from the bottom of my heart i cannot stress it enough and for you guys to continue to support and do merch so on my 65 once i hit 65k on my instagram i'll be giving this away plus i'll be adding where's that at oh there you go my new merch that just released yesterday um my evolved lanyard right here hit that follow button on my instagram follow me on instagram guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button because this will be coming your way if you're a lucky winner there you have it friends um so now it's all nice and bolted if you look right here let me do a quick close-up for you guys it sits nice and flush onto the plate nice and flushed um a lot cleaner look now with the wires going through the cutouts and the only thing left to do is slap this on to the valve cover i don't know if you guys are ready for this but you guys ready actually you guys ready to see it all right check it out boom check out the new and improved cop set right now it's a subtle change but it makes a whole lot difference on it check out how much those the co the denso coil sits flush with the plate if you look underneath right there I don't know if you could see it, see it, but the wires come right through those two relieved wedges on each of the edges so that the wire doesn't get pinched. So that is the new and improved JDC coil on plug set, guys. Let me run this quick cinematic for you. So guys, thank you once again for tuning in once again. That pretty much concludes this quick and install video. Again, I'd like to thank John from JD Customs. Super cool dude. You guys go hit up JD Customs USA. I'll leave the link down below on his website and hit him up on Instagram, JD Customs USA. Uh, he's a super cool dude. You can um, talk to him. Again, John always has an eye for perfection. So he continuously improves his products so again that's why he made this it's just because he has keen eye for detail guys and it just shows on his work how attention to detail he is thank you guys once again for tuning in we're almost at 7,000 subscriber guys and thank you i know i know i've only been in youtube for less than a year but because of your guys support i thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart because I wouldn't have, I never thought that I would reach this point. 65, almost 65K on Instagram and 7K on YouTube. Um, I think that's pretty awesome, guys. And it's all because of you and your guys' continued support. That's why, once again, guys, on, once on reaching 65K on my Instagram, I'll be giving away this plate right here for your COP. Um, real carbon fiber from JD Customs. And... I'll also include my new key strap tag right here. Straight up embroidered logo of my Evolve brand. 
you guys check out my website I'll leave the, also the link down below and I have more new merch coming in I did uh, I was sold out on t-shirts but I will have more in stock and a new design as well so once again guys if you like this video and you found it useful and if you just like it all together and you just want to support the channel please hit that like button down below and always press and always press that subscribe button so they can always be in tune of my future builds you guys have a good day and I'll see you on the next video